who can blame them for playing the way they've played because if i get put in that bitch if i know i'm going home i'm gonna play that motherfucker I'm going to play that shit to the end. I, ain't nobody going to stop me. I'm going to play her. I would be myself on that show, yes. But when it comes down to winning that $100,000, I'm going to do what I have to do to get it. Hey, guys. What's good? No, what's really good? Today, we are back. In Molly's world, of course, you know, we hop in the director's seat, sip on our treats, and get into the real good deeds. And today, we will be making our own checklist and doing our own ratings to see who we think will win the circle. So without further ado, let's get into the series review of the Netflix series, The Circle. Action. Of course, you know, I usually start off with my actors, but there's no actors in this. This is a live, unscripted reality TV show. It's actually a game. The Circle is about these players that compete with social media profiles to win $100,000. This is the second season of The Circle. The first season, the winner was Joey, I think. I enjoyed every minute of season one. I was rooting for Joey. I was rooting for Shuby. I was rooting for Sammy. Those were my top ones that I genuinely wanted to win. So to see them make it to the finish and Joey be the winner, I was warmed, like, completely. Now, this season, season two, season two has been a little messy and a little, you know, all over the place. At first, I was rooting for my homegirl, Savannah. But then Savannah kind of did something shady because I originally was rooting for Savannah and Terralisha. And I was like, I fucked with Terralisha. I want her to win. I don't know why. I just felt that vibe from her. And at first, I was feeling Courtney. I was feeling Courtney. I was like, yes, you know, represent for the LGBT community. We love it. You a Nikki fan. I peeped that. Super base. Yes. Saw so all that. But as the game went along, I just didn't like how they were treating Tabalisha. And I was in her corner. And I was like, damn, Mama, like, you really out here defending her like you on the show. I think you guys should petition to put me on season three, but that's another thing. But I was really, like, rooting for Tabalisha. I was like, damn, like, she's, like, not, she's playing the game, but she's being herself. And I think what happened was Savannah was playing the fucking game. I'm not gonna lie, she was playing the game and trying to still be herself, but obviously their personalities didn't work out and they both were sent home. Now, I was kind of upset about it because like I said, I, I really wanted like, I, I just love female empowerment. So to see Terralisha and Savannah come together would have been really nice. But if I was supposed to pick between the two, no shade. I love Savannah. I really do. But I'm going to pick my homegirl Terralisha. I just will. And if you want to debate me, we could debate in the comments. Now, moving on to River, who is actually, I think his name is Lee. River has been a game player. Lee has been a game player because here he is matching up with Courtney trying to suss out, suss out catfishes when he's been the catfish the whole time, the biggest catfish the entire time. Now, speaking about catfishes, Miss Emily John was doing the thing up until that makeup scene. And I was just like, yeah, that's it. You're caught. That's it. You're done for. And after that, Emily was done for. Well, John was done for. But that plot twist of making John and the assistant for um the boy that was in the band, making them team up together, genius to create that profile because it was very undercover, very new to see that type of person in the circle. We're not used to seeing old people, sorry, older people in the circle. So to see that profile be used, I was like, yeah, this is a game changer. But the game continued to change this season. I was just like, wow, I love the way they're continuing to switch up things. And it's not exactly the same way it was in the first season. Yes, of course, there were similarities in terms of rankings and ratings and new people to come in. But the whole surprise influencer and the Joker and all of those things, I was like, wow, they are stepping things up. The Joker, let's get into that because that is how you play the game. Courtney played the game, but I genuinely don't like the fact that he has kept the Joker identity hidden and made it look like it was Emily. Now, 
Don't get me wrong. I congratulate him. Round of applause. This is a game at the end of the day. We have to remember that. But I'm just a person about morals. And I'm just like, that's kind of fake and shady, Courtney, that you said those things about Chloe. If you really cared to me, in my opinion, I'm not talking to him because they're on the show and I'm not. They have a chance of winning. I don't. But I'm just saying that if I was in that position and you were actually friends with Chloe and River, you would have told them that you were a joker and you would have told them your plan. But like I said, it comes a point where you don't reveal too much to other players simply because at the end of the day, this is a game. But the way that you win the game is by being the most popular. And obviously people are going to vote for who they relate the most to. And to relate to someone, you have to be honest with someone. You have to be trustworthy. And I think my Courtney revealing that he was the Joker to Chloe and River would have bonded them even closer and solidified Chloe, Chloe's position with Courtney and River. Because later on, we see that Mitchell tried to swivel his way in through and cause some doubt within Chloe and let Chloe know that. Courtney is the Joker, but Mitchell wasn't alone when he was doing this. He was with Trevor. Now, Trevor, 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 who's not actually Trevor. I forgot. Delisha. D Delisa? Delisa? Mm. The girl who plays Trevor. I love her because although she is a catfish, I feel like she is the one catfish that's been genuinely trustworthy and real. That's like looking at everyone's perspectives and loving them and picking up for them and being there for them and knowing that she has a daughter and like she's doing it for them. It's just, oh, I, I genuinely love her and I support her in everything that she's doing. Although she is a catfish, I was like, damn. I feel like if she came into the conversation as her, she still would have gotten that same genuine love. But because she did choose a single father, that is a game player right there. Because single fathers do warm the hearts of other people. Like, you can't deny it. Like, if you see a single father, you're going to be like, damn, I love that man. He's working hard for his kid. So she did what she had to do. Tomorrow, the season finale is going to premiere on Netflix. This is where the top five players sit, finally meet each other, have dinner, and the winner is chosen. Now, the final five that are left are Chloe, River, Courtney, John, which is John and um, the instinct man's manager or assistant together as one person. And then we have Trevor. After hearing their reasons for winning, a lot of their reasons touched my heart. But I have to look at it from being in the game. Courtney and River have an alliance. Chloe has an alliance or agreement with Trevor, but she also has an alliance and an agreement with Courtney and River. So the way I'm thinking and the way I'm seeing it is that Trevor is going to vote for Chloe. Courtney is either going to vote for River or Chloe. And then River is either going to vote for, no, River is definitely voting for Courtney. River is definitely voting for Courtney. And John is most definitely probably going to vote for River. So right now, everybody is at like one point for me. Because Courtney can go either way and vote for River or Chloe. And then Chloe, I know for sure, is probably going to vote for Trevor. And Trevor is going to vote for Chloe. So Chloe might have two. And Chloe might actually win. Now, Chloe's a personality at first I wasn't too sure about. Because it was like, damn, why are you really doing this? But I could see that throughout the conversation, every time she's broken down, every time she's cried, she's been very unfiltered. And I love when people are unfiltered and genuinely themselves. She's just been blabbing her fucking mouth and not afraid to be direct and not afraid to be her. So I feel like coming into the competition as herself and being authentically herself as a game player, that is why she deserves to win because she came in as herself and she played till the end as herself. Lee has his personal reasons as to why he wants to win the show. But being a game player, 
I, I could say he played that catfish role really well. He did. And Courtney was manipulative hell. Very, very calculated. Very calculated. All these players have been very calculated. I would say that. But the players who have been genuinely them and deep to the core and expressing their heart and being trustworthy, I think Chloe and Trevor. Those are my go-to. And if I was supposed to pick between the two, I probably couldn't. But I am more so aiming for Chloe and uh, Chloe and um, Trevor to win. I'm I'm sorry. I, and hearing Chloe's reason about her dad and everything else was really sad. But also Courtney's reason as well. That's even ugh. All their reasons are so heartbreaking and beautiful. And I wish them all the best. I genuinely do. But I'm just speaking from a person viewing the show and loving the drama and loving the excitement of being this being an actual game show. So it's nothing to them. It's just the way they played the game and at the end of the day it's a game who can blame them for playing the way they played because if i get put in that bitch if i know i'm going home i'm gonna play that motherfucker i'm gonna play that shit to the end I, ain't nobody gonna stop me i'm gonna play her i would be myself on that show yes but when it comes down to winning that hundred thousand dollars i'm going to do what i have to do to get it and it doesn't necessarily mean i'm gonna walk on people's necks but you sometimes you just got to do what you got to do and prove that point and win that money i came here to win a game and that's what i'm gonna have to do if you guys have any ideas on who you think should win honestly truly i i'm leaning more towards chloe my top three chloe's top one then trevor then courtney that is the order i want it to go and if that's the order that it happens Somebody needs to give me money or somebody needs to put me on the show because I obviously know how to play the game If I can predict who's going to win because I can predict I'm gonna win if I get on the circle Just saying but this is all I have for now if you guys have any other theories comments or Ideas or reasons as to why you think your player should win Let me know down below in the comments Also, if you enjoyed this review and getting into the real tea and the good deeds with me Don't be afraid to scroll down hit the subscribe button then hit the notification bell So you get notifications and updates for when I post like I said, this is all for now I love you guys so 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 much until next time Mwah.